Hello, chocolate, my old friend. I've come to munch on you again. Because the vision I had while sleeping left a mark and it was so creepy. And the vision that I just can't even explain is in my brain. And there's the sound of silence from my twin. Any of you stressing? Okay, you need to get yourself the over a pound of chocolate, extra dark, extra dark chocolate. We're talking extra dark. No? Chocolate's not a solution for some people. Some people are allergic. Some people don't have the metabolism to digest it or can't because it's too sugary. I get you. I do get you. And yet chocolate is lovely. However, if you're stressing, if you're confused, I want to let you know what is going on right now. Especially this week because it is the new moon and there is going to be a closure of the portal that I've been talking about. Now that's the one that opened up in, in earnest in April of 2014. However, since 2012, twin flames have met each other, found each other, become aware of each other. They have healed, for the most part, to a certain extent, a lot of the human level ailments. People have also ignored, ignored their twin, retreated, hid and run, and self-sabotaged while waiting. Mental, emotional, false twins abound, and those will be lovers or even killers from other, many lives. And yeah, I'm not kidding about that. There are people you may be involved with or in or around your life that has done you or your twin a dirty turn in some other life. And where is this stuff? Where's this been? Where has it been? That is now getting excavated and dredged out. That is so stressful and confusing that, yes, maybe you need something to prop you up. And, you know, while I'm, while I'm trying to, like, bring a smile to your face here with the chocolate, I want to let you know that there are things happening here that are going to um, really have people address things. Because when this closes, there will be a big push forward to address the things that haven't been attended to. Some of them, for some people, are very small things. If you're a Blu-ray, more than likely you're doing some of your last minute maintenance stuff. And some of you have felt um, just maybe like, you know, you're just getting tumbled about, you're exhausted, and you really are hoping that your twin is attending to things. And you're not sure, you're trying to figure it out with your head, and you're just not sure. And let me tell you that, yes, in many ways, this has been the time of receiving your higher essence so it's been a bit of that little game what did we play when we were kids red light green light red light green light okay but this is a big one there's going to be a big green light here but it is a closure too and you're closing out old paradigm okay old paradigm that's going to be really old school for some people, and it's going to be very confusing for many, many, many people, even as you're just becoming aware. Now, if you consider yourself an old hand at this, that you've been around doing this for 20 years, this message may not be for you. So there are many people that I have met very recently where this is fairly new and you're only now just finding out what this is. What is this about? Your research has led you here or you've heard about this or like me. I didn't know these words. I didn't come out of my mama knowing these words. But somewhere along the line, actually from um, a friend years ago, 
I heard these two words, twin flames, and something in me clicked, okay? I still didn't know. I didn't know, but I started finding out because I started finding out that, you know, not only is that who I am, that answered a lot of questions. That actually made me feel better and gave me a sense of, really who I am, who am I beyond this? And there's things that we've all felt that we have in common, things of not fitting in. Well, guess what? You're really not gonna fit in. However, how do you manage this? How do you balance it? Because you're not going to be able to control it. And hint, neither is your twin going to be able to control it. And that's what a lot of people have done. They've tried to control things by ignoring things, retreating or taking up with a mental emotional false twin or if your twin is with a mental emotional false twin you haven't known what to do about it and you want to be with that person because every cell in your body is screaming for their touch for their presence and meanwhile they're in a situation this is going to be things that do affect the eyes, the structures inside the brain, which will be the medulla and several other of the brain parts, including frontal lobe, heart, and crown. All these areas are still purging. And so I have a little demo here with some of your favorite characters, okay? This is a lovely couple. They've known each other for a while. In fact, they met through mutual friends and they found out that they actually go to the same church. However, she's starting to see and feel subtle differences, okay? And they start to have a conversation about it. And once again, you have her asking the questions, okay? And she's starting to say to him, what's happening? You're starting to feel so distant. I don't know it. It's, it's almost like you're distracted, you're withdrawn. I'm getting the sense that I don't really even know you, but I love you. Where are you? I, it's like you're not here. It's like you're here, but you're not here. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm here. We just went out together. No, I've noticed a distinct difference ever since Easter. You're just more hostile. You're you're just I don't know, like you're you're upset easier. Look, I'm just under a lot of stress. You know, I had to finish my taxes and there was all this pressure in my family and the whole thing and well, but you can talk to me. You can talk to me. What do you want me to say to you? You want me to just dump all my problems on you? But I can feel you anyway. I I feel the stress. I, I'm having it in my head. I just can't stop. It, it kind of hurts sometimes. It, there's a lot of tension, and I want to be able to help you. Well, you can't. You wouldn't understand, and plus it's mine, but we're partners. I am your true love. Yes, I know I love you, but you just can't. I can't let you into this. Why, why would you want to? Why, why do you even care anyway? Just forget about it. Why do you care what happens to me? Well, I really hate to see you handling it in ways that you do. Oh, oh, oh. Now, now I'm handling it in the wrong way. Well, where, it's, where I'm feeling it, I feel sometimes you have a stomach ache. Yeah, but I still take things for the stomach. You don't have to worry about it. You don't understand. I'm feeling you. You know, if you wanted to help me relieve my stress, why don't you just do some of the things that I like? You know, go cook something or, I don't know, you know, make something. I'm, I'm hungry and I'm stressed all the time. Well, that's exactly what I mean. But, you know, sometimes you like to go and, you know, blow off steam in other ways. And, and I can't help but feel it. I get dizzy, I get confused. There's nothing confusing about the fact that I love you, is there? No, I, I, I don't know, I'm confused right now. Why, why won't you let me in? Why won't you let me in? I've let you in. 
You know about my life. You met my family. Well, that's another thing. Your family, they're just all over me. They always like put, you know, their judgments and, you know, their thoughts and their beliefs onto us. And it just doesn't really, then we have to go and, you know, make nice with everyone. And it's always the same people, the same places, like a merry-go-round. We're just around and around and around. And what's happening with them? They're starting to stagnate on that karmic wheel. Okay, they're going around, they're actually going around like this. Okay, nothing's going anywhere. Nothing's moving. They are at an impasse. And they're not going to be re able to resolve it with their heads or with a discussion. Very few people are able to. So you now have another couple. And this couple has been together a while. And this couple actually does have, you know, some things that they're starting to notice about each other. First of all, one of them is very much the electric. And what does that mean? Well, what that means is he is the action person, he is the go-getter, he is the one that takes charge and sometimes takes control and intimidates and manipulates and does things to get his way. And who is he? Well, he is the magnetic. And sometimes he, you know, keeps his mouth shut and he doesn't say anything and he just goes along with the program because that's what he's feeling. I should just go with the program. After all, that's what love does. I go with the program. Well, they are starting to have little tiffs here, little bits of friction because the old electric and the old magnetic can't fit together the same way. Not only that, they have to integrate parts of their subtle bodies so that they're able to really fit together with true intimacy and knowingness and the deep love that needs to get into every deep, dark place that has felt unloved for lifetimes. Okay, so these two are having a discussion and it's like, hey, welcome home. Nice to see you. How was your day today? Oh, don't ask. Don't even ask. You know, I, I just, I try my best. I push. They want these numbers. I keep making numbers and, you know, everyone just gives me a hassle. It's just, well, have you thought about going out on your own? I know that you've really wanted to start your own business. How am I going to do that? We've got bills to pay. Right now, you're still finishing school and I'm helping you get your degree and, you know, it, we're just not in a position to. But if it's that miserable for you, maybe we need to consider it. No, there's no consideration. Look, I know what the plan is and I've got it all mapped out. You don't have to worry about any little thing. But you don't understand. I'm not trying to not worry. It's like I can feel you. When I'm trying to study, you're doing something and I feel you more than what I'm trying to do. Well, that's not my fault because I'm not trying to do. I'm just being in the work zone. When I come home, I want to be in the home zone. I want the work zone and the home zone. Yes, but you're bringing work home and, and it's affecting us. You're, you're just irritable. You're cranky. You're cross with me all the time. And, and I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, what he's trying to express is that his heart can't hold this anymore. Not the back of his heart. Not the front of his heart, not his gut, and he has to stop outputting all this electric energy because what winds up happening is it will feel and, you know, arguments will happen. Well, in the old paradigm, somebody would buckle under and that's not going to happen anymore. This is a brand new life with each other. Well, I don't have all the answers, you know. You're so used to being the alpha dog around everything, including in the bedroom, that I never really seem to get a say-so in everything. I just have to go along with anything. What are you complaining about? I'm the one that's supporting us. I, I, I support you in everything. So what if I just want to come home and chill out? Ah, but the way you chill out just excludes me. It excludes me. It's like there's, there's nothing left of you. You have no shreds of anything. And these two are at an impasse. And you have people that
that have you have some people that have little kids and you have some that you know they have a child to consider and the children will be having their own things going on with eyes brain heart crown because like it or not whoever will be around your union especially children may be going through stuff how do you best help them so since 2012 many people have been getting ready or at least have paid attention to certain things but if you're still standing around and going do 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 and I don't know what to do okay this is a week for a lot of the brain stuff which is going to be alarming for some people and yet how are you able to get the solutions for your children your family your life going forward because your cosmic heart is taking over people say oh follow your heart yes follow your heart but it's your cosmic heart that's leading you it is not just the human wish of the heart there is a distinction between the human will and the higher will and that's been confusing for people so if you would like the opportunity to ask some questions get some live on the spot answers think about joining my webinar which is tomorrow it is my blue infusion okay where I talk about the subtle bodies I get on the spot guidance for people and yes it comes from guidance not from opinions or the head there's no judgment this is a small mini group people are free to express or you're free to just listen and maybe hear some things that will help you help you feel supported my light body information is in my webinars on my website where is that found oh it's on my website it's at www.twinflamesmerge.com right here twinflamesmerge.com you can find it the ones that I recommend for right now which ones are they ooh the sensual lover what does that mean does that mean my my twin is going to be oh so sensual well it does but it means that your twin will be a person of the senses the higher senses and all that's involved to ramp these up because where you're going that's what you need to navigate you're not going to just rely on your survival instincts that you used in 3d in the old paradigm we are closing the portal if you're gonna jump the minute you hear the word UFO or conspiracy theory or something like this and I know there's people out there that you know that's where their focus is and that's fine there may be people teaching about that but if you're twin flame guess what you're here to be the lover the lover and there's a focus on love feeling the love feeling and discerning every living being out in the universe and it is gradual and you know there are things that people go through that have been stuck and embedded you've had things that have been suggested or you know planted in your brain somehow like I said in the song where did they come from well it came from ancient history you're getting ready to close the door on ancient history if you haven't been already it's going to be in earnest now like really a strong push here okay the sensual lover is very comprehensive there is a description in the links below my other one called being home with each other which has much information about the body changes that you will experience so that you are able to go with each other out of body and I do mean with each other I'm not talking about in the old to um, go into the astral plane because the astral plane is very much become polluted polluted with miscreated thought forms accidents illness fears and do you really want to go swimming in that or do you want the purity of the love now what is all of this about 
This isn't about your intelligence. This is about your emotions and the high heart intelligence. So that is what I teach. I teach about your light body. I teach about your subtle bodies. And yes, there are several. I'm a teacher of the new light body and the subtle body. I have all the information that has um, led up to this point and within my blue infusion. So if you'd like to join, it is tomorrow, it is Friday night, it is Sunday morning, and then there's several other times in May. Also, I will be on Twin Flame Divine Fire radio show on May 14th, which happens to be Mother's Day. But if you want to catch it, I am meeting with Alan and Sandra of Twin Flame Divine Fire, and we're going to talk and talk. So I hope you can catch that. If, if you want to get into this, please check my website because the buttons are on there. And I hope to see you there. Each one is unique because we go with what is guided for that time. People will talk about things that they are going through, and there is support, there are relevant answers, and I do provide people with the tools. So there's a lot of information that gets packed into these, and it's been lively, it's been fun, we laugh. It's not all, you know, it's not all work, work, work. I want you to remember why you first woke up. You woke up because of love. You had an awakening or a realization or found your person because it was time for you to really be back in love and stop playing on the karmic playground. That time is already here, okay? And, you know, throwing out the garbage, yeah, this has been a monumental task because you don't want to bring that garbage with you. I mean, you don't move from an old dorm room to your brand newly constructed home and take all your gum wrappers with you and all the garbage. You toss it. You purge. You get rid of things. You donate. You, you know, you dump it somehow. Well, that's a lot of purging that is going to be happening here for people. Out of the eyes, out of the brain, out of the heart, and the crown. And I am here to teach you about it and help. Because the one thing I really know is I love a good love story. And several of you who I've had the pleasure and privilege to meet have a fabulous love story. Some people are writing their screenplay about their love story or a book. And I applaud you. But there's more chapters to come. So hope you can join. Please have a wonderful week. Please do remember who you are and why you awaken to begin with, okay? Thanks so much. Bye now.